Hello everyone, this is Joshua. Now this video is about the whole deal with the UMass Amherst cheerleading head coach. So I'm gonna start from there. Yes, I know people are always talking about all oh, this whole deal with me and the coach. I'm like, maybe they are today, maybe they're not. But either way, the reason for this video is because I want to set this record straight. That's what it's about, setting the record straight. And here's another thing people should realize. You can't say I talk poorly about the coach if the coach was the one that was rude first, which she was when she first got the job as head coach at UMass. So it all started when I said, welcome to UMass Nation. Not to mention I hashtag UMass Nation. Then two weeks later, I asked her, how's your first week back in New England? Next thing you know, I got blocked. I don't know why. Because really, the reason why I knew all this info because I read about it when they wrote something about her online, about her background, the back at the fact that she graduated from Liberty University in Virginia, as well as, you know, she was a USA cheerleader. Yeah, so I thought it'd be a great, I thought it was great that they hired a former USA cheerleader as a UMass cheerleading head coach. Because like I said, those two gestures on Twitter, they were very nice. You know, that's what I always do. When somebody's new in the community, I always say welcome. You know, make, make them feel welcome is what I do. So that's all, but then, yeah, I got upset because, really, I thought that was just rude of her to do that. I ain't even met her in person yet. I'm like, now I do see her in person, but everyone's always asked me, how come that she, how come that she see you eye to eye or look at you eye to eye? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, and I was real upset about it. I expressed how upset I was. But here's the problem. You know what the problem is with these athletic departments in Division One? Every time someone on their end is in the wrong, you know, they just, you know, always try to make excuses saying, oh, yeah, it was nothing personal. This person's new. This person's fairly new. This person didn't know that. All that. Now, when you're saying stuff like that, you're pretty, you're clearly saying that what that person did okay. You have to say that in words, but when you're making excuses, celebrating, etc., it clearly shows that you approve what that person did. You're approving that the person was rude for no reason. See, when you know that person's wrong on your end, you talk to them. I'm like, I don't mean like talk to them harshly or anything, but you know, tell them like, hey, tell that person sorry, you know, written apology, that's the way to do it. But instead, you care about, you know, protecting your reputation image by trying to cover things up and trying to leave certain facts out. But let me tell you something. In case some of you haven't watched the news or read the newspaper, guess what? All these colleges are finding themselves into trouble as well as legal trouble with lawsuits because they left out certain facts that, you know, pretty much surfaced after they tried to sweep under the rug. You know, they got in trouble for lying, failed to act, stuff like that. You see, you see what's going on out there right now with these colleges getting into trouble? It's because they try to cover things up and sweep under the rug because they know that reputation, image, and money's at stake. Now, you can protect your money, reputation, and image without being corrupt. Yeah, because see, if you're covering it up and trying to sweep anything on the rug, that's corruption. That is. And you sweep, when you sweep too much on the rug, eventually that stuff's going to surface. Everything you sweep on the rug, all that's going to surface eventually. You know, thanks to the Hunting Ground, the movie they put together, as well as the Me Too movement. Now, the Me Too movement, it was about, you know, encourage people to come forward if they've been, like, I don't, let me give you a content warning before I say these words. Rape, molestation, domestic violence, sexual assault, etc. But it didn't all, I mean, not only came, you know, encourage people to come forward about stuff like that, it also encouraged people to come forward about stuff, you know, other things like how people were treated, 
how they try to cover it up, how people try to twist things up, stuff like that. And you know how people always trying to like, you know, hide things. You know, you know what, you know what I'm saying. But the bottom line is this: y'all can't go out there and say I was rude to the head coach of the UMass cheerleading team because she was the one that was rude first when I gave her a good gesture by saying welcome to UMass Nation as well as how's your first two weeks back in New England those were good gestures right there and see that's the problem with some people at UMass Amherst this is why people keep saying some of them are stupid because they always jump to conclusions without them getting all the facts first see that's another reason why they keep finding themselves in legal trouble no, jump to conclusions without getting all the facts. So like I said, you can't say I talk poorly about the coach. You can't say I um, I say mean things about the coach because she was the one that was rude first towards me. And also, I like to remind people that when she posted that the cheerleaders made it to the finalists for the first time in history, guess what? Some cheerleading alums point out the fact that it wasn't the first time because they made the finals plenty of times when they were in NCA back to, back at the time. Yes, back at the time when the cheerleaders made nationals before that coach got the job, they were in NCA at the time. And I remember seeing that on YouTube and everything. And when one cheerleader, as far as I know, one cheerleader alum pointed that out she got blocked for it but after you know she called the coach as well as this marketing director slash fan experience employee at U for UMass Athletics you know they like talked about it and then, yeah she pretty much got unblocked because they figured out it would be a bad idea doing that to a cheerleading alum yeah you know I know all the cheerleaders didn't like that post either so I'm glad it got settled. But other than that, you know, I don't know what the thing is. But like I said, people, you can't say I, I talk poorly about the coach. Because she was the one that was rude first. Not me. Because those two justices were nice. And I already apologized for the fact, you know, I called her a snob and everything. Because, you know, it's not cool. At least I did it. But for those of you who are just saying that or distancing themselves from me because of that, you're making yourself look like fools. I'm sorry. But anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. So please like, share, subscribe. No negative comments, no racist comments. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next video.